Hello, and welcome to this video on AWS TextRack's Custom Queries feature. Custom Queries enables you to customize the pre-trained queries feature through customization artifacts called adapters. You may choose to train an adapter for your documents if the pre-trained queries feature doesn't provide the response you expect. In this video, you'll learn how to train and use a custom adapter on your documents and queries. First, from the AWS console on the TextTrack dashboard, navigate to the Custom Queries section. Now, we will click Create Adapter to get started. Now we will need to name our adapter. Enable Auto Updates if desired. Auto Updates allows adapters to be automatically updated whenever the pre-trained queries model is updated. It is recommended that you leave Auto Updates enabled and click Create Adapter to create our adapter. Our new adapter ID is displayed. Next, we need to build our training and test data sets. Let's click our adapter and choose Create Dataset. We can upload our documents from our computer or from an S3 location and choose either Manual Split or Auto Split. It is recommended that you use Manual Split as this gives you more control of the documents that go into the test and train data sets. For this video, we will choose Manual Split and upload documents from our computer. Choose Create Dataset to create your dataset. The Dataset page will show us our document info and which dataset the documents are assigned to. We can choose Add Documents and then select the dataset we want to add documents to. We can also see that the console prompts us to add at least five documents to both training and test sets. We will add some documents now, but we can always use Add Documents to add more later. For now, we'll click on Add Documents to the Train dataset. Now we will select a number of documents for our training data set and upload those documents. Next, we will need to add at least five documents to our test data set. And we will upload those documents by following the same process. Now that we have uploaded our training and test documents, we need to create our queries and annotate our documents with these queries. We'll click on the Create Queries button and enter some queries. These queries have either a binary yes or no response or text responses. We'll add three queries with text responses now. What is the date the check was signed on? Who issued the check? And what is the amount the check is made out for? With our queries made, we can begin auto-labeling our documents by clicking Start Auto-Labeling. We can also choose to label our documents manually, but auto-labeling is suggested. We now have to wait for the auto-labeling process to complete. After the auto-labeling process completes, we can review the accuracy of the labels by selecting Verify Documents. Clicking on this will take us back to the dataset page where we can select Start Reviewing. We have to open the docs 
check the responses, edit the document annotations if they are incorrect, and submit each one. Let's start reviewing. Here we can see where we need to correct some annotations, which we can do by selecting the trash can icon to delete the previous response, and then using the bounding box tool. Once this is fixed, we press Submit and Next. And now we will do the same for this next document. We will continue this process until we have verified all documents and annotations. Once you have finished verifying your last document, click Submit and Close. Once we've finished reviewing our annotations, we can train our adapter. Click the Train Adapter button, and pick an S3 bucket to store the output in. Then click Train Adapter to start training. We'll need to wait for the adapter to finish training. Once training finishes, we can evaluate metrics for our current version of the adapter. We can click on these tabs to view the performance per queries, performance per document, and performance per page. We can also toggle to compare this set of metrics to baseline metrics. The provided accuracy metrics include F1 score, precision, and recall. You can click on the hyperlinks to better understand how each of these metrics are defined. To demo our adapter, we can click Try Adapter and analyze a sample document. If you're satisfied with the performance, you can move on to Inference, or you can go back to the Adapter Details page to continue to improve your adapter. To improve adapter performance, you can continue to add documents, review annotations, and retrain your adapter as needed. You can delete old adapter versions when you are done with them and no longer need them. When finished training your adapter, copy the adapter ID, provide it in a call to analyze document. Provide the adapter ID and adapter version and specify any pages you want to apply the adapter to. In this video, you learned how to train and use a custom adapter on your documents and queries. Thank you for watching.